There is something about looking at another human being that requires acknowledging their dignity. That's what I hear overwhelmingly from folks in poverty again and again and again. That's the most painful part. That's the most dehumanizing part, that if I don't look at you, it means that I, I really don't think you're a human being. It's countercultural, it's upsetting, it's confrontational, and part of the intent when people come is to be, to be made uncomfortable. Jill made some new mixes for the mountains, but ask her before you put them up there. Okay. Uh, but you could start with Rainbow. We decided we lost a little of the sky, so we moved the line up. Here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Should I draw it up a little bit? We're really, we really got our work cut out for us. I've not made it easy. Couldn't just go halfway. This place is this place to really go for it, you know? Because it has so much meaning. This project is different. These turned away this kind of motley crew of humanity. I like it as a platform to bring different people together. I mean, blessed are the peacemakers, blessed are the righteous people that are persecuted, poor in spirit. I mean, this, these are, you know, at some points of the day, this could be all of us. I think of this fresco sometimes, and I think to myself, as long as this building is standing, there'll be someone telling them the story of that fresco and the people and the places and the items in it. I was trying to get my head wrapped around how I came from this rural peanut farm in South Alabama, how all of a sudden now I'm gonna be immortalized in a painting. Um, I don't think one can ever come completely to grips with that. Man, I mean, I am so happy I, I, I could cry. God said, come as you are, you know what I'm saying? He said, come as you are. And I go as I am. <laughs> as long as that wall stands, I'm going to be at every service. There's no other place on earth I would rather have, have my picture hanging than, than uh, Haywood Street. What I've been touched most deeply by at Haywood Street is we don't believe there's such thing as us and them, but rather church is the space where brothers and sisters who would not know each other under any other circumstances, are worshiping together, eating together, sharing life together. And on behalf of who we are as a church, I wanna say thank you. Thank you, Asheville, for the way you have supported the welcome table, for the way you've supported respite, and thank you for the way you have continued to support the fresco. What poverty makes invisible, art makes immortal. Affirming sacred worth, restoring human dignity, and sabotaging the shame of poverty, the Haywood Street fresco announces in plaster and pigment that you matter. <laughs>